here, and welcome to the Carolina Hurricanes. And we are hurricaning it up right now. And as you saw, we bought the Cam Ward. And now you're also going to see that we get a nice little steal on this Eric Stahl. 8.5k bid. And he usually goes for about 10 11k. So that was a sick, sick steal. And this is what the team looks like. We got Pitkin in, Sakara on D. Um, we got Cam Ward, um, Seven, all those good guys. We got, um, what's his face? Um, Lakhtyanov, who was recently traded for Tuomo Rutu with Skinner, all that stuff. You can take a look. We got the Enforcer Westgarth up there. And the team is looking all right. Yuri Tulusi, who's having a terrible year. Um, Justin Falk, Mr. America, except America, America has nothing to talk about for the Olympics because we absolutely sucked. But this is not about the Olympics. This is about the Carolina Hurricanes. So currently, as of March 16th, the Carolina Hurricanes are, in fact, doing terribly. They are 25th in the NHL, second last in their division, only worse is the Islanders in the Metropolitan Division, and Carolina is having a struggling year. I find this team to be in its midlife crisis. They have an elite goaltender in Cam Ward who can really hold it down. They also have Jeff Skinner, Semin, all those guys, but I just don't know why they aren't succeeding. I mean, they just continually get better players. They got the stalls, they got, well, they had Rutu, <laughs> but Sakara's having a bang up year. I have no idea why these guys are struggling. I just find it strange how, um, what do you call it? They just aren't succeeding. But Nathan Gerby, one of the fastest players I've had, is an absolute tank, and Brent is going to bury it. And that is a nice goal. But, back to the Hurricanes, um, yeah, this game is kind of weird. Eric Stahl currently has 52 points in 65 games, easily their top scorer. So, we're going to bring it right there with a nice little drag snipe from the slot. Nathan Gerbster getting it done. But, this team is just kind of all over the place. With Eric Stahl, and then Skinner, and then Sakara is their third leading player in points. He has more points than Alexander Semin. Which is ridiculous. Andre Sakara is just having a complete renewal of his career. Absolutely. But it's just strange because they've just been struggling. And as you can see, we're struggling a bit right here with getting some score goals scored on us. But we would retaliate. Because this team is a mix of veterans and they're a mix of young folks. There's young folks. But this team is just very diverse, so to say. I really don't know what to say about it. But it's just, they're struggling, and I really don't know how. I mean, if the Sabres had that kind of talent, I don't even know. <laughs> we don't have that talent, so I'm not going to make up hypotheticals about Buffalo. But we would, in fact, make this more of a game as we grab the puck back, and we do a little thing there. I don't know what it went off, but it certainly went in. That's all that matters, right? So it is 4-2 in our favor now. We have really turned the tides. Uh, I know Cam Ward was actually injured for a while, so that may have not helped. He was actually having not that good of a year. His save percentage is under 900 as we speak. But, yeah, no one else has been doing fantastic. But Justin Peters and Anton Kudobin apparently have been doing pretty well. A lot better than Cam Ward for some reason. But, yes, um, the struggling Hurricanes, I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> they're just a really strange team. Again, I'd say they're in a midlife crisis because they really don't deserve to be doing bad, but I guess the chemistry isn't there, or the locker room leadership needs to be improved. Maybe it's time for Eric Stahl to lead another team to the victory. I mean, he already does have a cup here, but then again, he probably should retire, but whatever. <laughs> Eric Stahl, definitely an excellent player, and a good leader, I'm sure. <laughs> I could tell, because he's won a Stanley Cup, and to be a captain of a cup-winning team, you really do have to have some leadership. But, yeah. We would continue to wreck this kid. Um, glove save by Anderson. He'll play it out. That was kind of weird. The sequence here behind this goal is quite fascinating. As Skinner breaks the hot head out of everyone, backhands it to put it in and end the game. Rage quit. And we absolutely pooped on him, so it's to be expected. Um, Nathan Gerby had a bang-up game again. Nathan Gerby, guys, is actually really good. Jeff Skinner had a nice night, too, with the penalty shot and all that stuff. All that jazz. So, yeah, we had a pretty good night. Um, this team is fast. Um, 
they have a lot of bigger guys. Like, the stalls are huge, so they can throw the body. But this is just a remarkably fun team to use. Not the best defensively. They're not really that fast defensively, which is not good. But they are they can hold their own. They really can. But this this line, like, I mean, not this line. These players, like, Gerby, um, Skinner, I mean, even Toulouse's fast. Jordan Stahl's a good face-off taker. It's just an all-around great team, I'd say. I wouldn't, like, say totally do this team, but I'd say you should get some of the base players of this team. Like, I'd totally recommend getting Jordan Stahl, um, maybe Skinner, Gerby for sure on the fourth line. He would actually be really good for you, I must say. Now, this game was horrendous. We can't get it out of our end for some reason. This guy's just owning us. Take a shot. Ward goes down on his knees on that dumb animation. And we are down by one early. So that's bad. That's not the way you want to start off these games. Travis Banana Hamannick definitely just claps it somehow. And like, look at that little thing that Ward's doing. He's screened so he goes down. That's not what happens when you get screened. I just, I just think that's dumb. But it is what it is. Hamnick gets the goal. Can't argue it. But I can't, I can't argue it, but I'm just not going to get anywhere. So, Ward's rocking a 500 save percentage, which is not the best, I must say. Ward has definitely seen better nights. He will be coming in, however, in the second period. But he's not done yet. The most obvious play, I block it, cross crease, and Ward kicks it into his own net. Now, that is inexcusable. And as, as sad as it sounds... That is literally going to cost us the game. This was just not... This was just ice tilt central here. This was just horrendously bad. Um, it was just bad. This game, I don't know what it was. It's just my players could not score to save our lives. Honestly. 11 shots, no goals. And it's just rough, because this guy's goalie wasn't even that good. I mean, honestly, it was just so bad. I know I just had it honestly twice, but Skinner, what a terrible shot. I mean, honestly, it's so bad. <laughs> this weird cheeky goal is the only thing that goes in on Anderson. Like, Anderson stood on his head. He was so good for, like, no reason. That was the only crappy goal we'd get on him. And you'll just see scoring chance after scoring chance will get robbed by Anderson. The last minute, I'll go over some of the saves he made. And, what's his face on? Um, Anderson, but here comes Gerby. If anyone can do it, it's Nathan Gerby. He gets it up, and here comes Eric Stahl. The Ripper, look at that glove save. Like, incredible. He doesn't even get to hold on to it, but an incredible glove save by Anderson. And we're just doing anything we can to get this guy off the forecheck. Wheeler grabs it. Thought we could get that away with Falk. Gets shoved off the puck. Falk for Stahl. This guy liked to hit, so we kept on doing that. And I thought we, that would be a goal right there, but no, he keeps gloving it. This guy has like the glove of steel or something. It's actually like incredible. So, two to one. We get the draw. Here comes Semin. Semin's grinding with it. And the pass goes horribly wrong. We get it back though. This is the chance. Skinner flops on it. Anderson the save. He'd throw it out, and that would be it. And I was very upset with this. I'll show you some of the replays. I was eager to show you what happened. We got eliminated in the cup finals there. But 23-10, to 10, and we couldn't score more than one goal. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. I mean, Anderson was just absolutely insane. I have no idea. And Ward's kick-in goal basically cost it, was the game winner. He lost the game because of that. I mean, look at these shots that I'm taking. And none of them go in. That was kind of weird. But these shots are absolutely stunning saves. I mean, everything gets gloved. It's like, bar none, everything gets gloved. Everything. <laughs> like, bar nothing. Everything. Everything gets gloved. It's just ridiculous, guys. This was just a clear-cut case of this game was not going to be won by me, no matter what happens. The only way I could score is cross-crease, honestly, and it was a, it was a stupid cross-crease goal. I have no idea how that one went in. But it was just a dumb game. You're going to have a few of those, I guess. But very frustrating, nonetheless. Whether I have them or not, they're frustrating. And this team is actually really good. Despite this loss right here, if Cam Ward plays to his playing potential, 
This team is actually really fun to use, I must admit. Um, Simmons fast. Sakara is a decent defender. He deserves to be better considering his point totals this year. Um, Eric Stahl has a nice shot, as does um, Skinner. Um, Nathan Gerby is an absolute rocket. He's so fast, actually. Like, you don't even understand how fast Nathan Gerby is. And I've said actually, I'll probably have like an actually counter or something on my video. But we lose that game in disappointing fashion. Um, so here's the final final line. I would recommend this first line. This first line is fun to use. Um, Pickening's all right, I must say, but Ward is either on or off. Falk is actually really good, along with Toulouse and Stahl, who are also nice. And Gerby, though, I'd say Gerby gets MVP. Nathan Gerby is an absolute speed demon. Like, actually, he, I keep saying actually, but he is, like, so fast. He actually has a decent shot, too, which makes it even better. And he can just get around everyone. So I definitely, definitely recommend Nathan Gerby for anyone's team, like, the third or fourth line. So absolutely... But for the collection, I did not buy this player because it's ridiculous. This this flood dude, he goes to like 8k and he's silver. He's never going to make the team. So, buy that dude. <laughs> I have everyone else, but just buy that dude, okay? <laughs> Don't know why he goes for that much, but pff, I guess I guess Carolina wasn't worth enough. So, we're going to go NHL here. Carolina Hurricanes. Let's see what you need to get. Here are the jerseys. You got the Hartford Whalers jerseys, the one with the little brick pattern at the bottom. You see the little brick pattern at the bottom, you know what I mean? And the NHL patch. So, um, you got the one with the brick pattern that's black. You got the one with the stripes on the bottom. You got the one with um, the brick bottom and no NHL patch. You got the brick bottom and an NHL patch, I believe. The Hartford Whalers. Um, the stripe and no... Uh, I mean, the stripe and NHL patch and the brick bottom and no NHL patch. You got Gleason, Falk, Stahl, Ward, Stahl, Toulouse, Toulouse, Toasty, Toulouse. But yeah, Cam Ward, I don't know what that game was about, bud. Semen, Rutu Drain, um, Skins, Skinner, I don't know. Gerby, Yadi Pikkinen, Kudobin, Sakara, Bo Drayson Bowman, can't see these, Peters, Bergeron, Commissaric, Brent, Dwyer, LaRose, Harrison, Gar or Harrison, I think it was, Blanchard, and Westgarth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, likes are awesome. Um, again, we hit like almost 50 likes, I think, on the first one. So if we could hit that again, that'd be sick. Because after Carolina, we're getting into some really good teams. So yeah, get ready, dude, guys. It's going to be amazing. These teams are just going to be more and more fun to play with, hopefully. And I just hope you enjoyed this, because after Carolina, we're on Chicago, baby. So you got Taser, Kaner, Keither, Keither, all those good players. So, yeah, definitely look forward to, to Chicago. I'll see you guys there. Have a wonderful day. And, yeah, peace out. Talk to you later.